Here we are, Friday afternoon, and uh, time to put out another video on the TR7. 1980 TR7. So this week was mostly working around the back, around in this area inside there. Up in there, it's all black. You can't see anything because it's black. And then uh, also fixed up in the trunk here where there used to be some holes in here on that side and there used to be holes on this side here so they're all fixed up and then it's got this like it's an interesting piece of metal that comes along here and interesting curves and all that kind of stuff that seemed to come out pretty nice this side here i didn't have to do much to it i just sort of cleaned up a bit in there and in the back of the car or in the behind the seat i put a new piece in here where it was rusted through in a couple of places and right over there got a new piece over where is it over there right over there new piece I don't know if that was last week or this week I think it was this week anyway then at the end of the day today I decided I'd tackle this thing up here which I wasn't really happy with all the way through its life I had a piece in there that I didn't think was not a not a really great job of of uh, metal work so I took it out. It was one that I did. I can't blame anybody else but me. Took it out and I uh, put a new piece in there. And I still have to, next week it'll see it. We'll get it all welded in there and cleaned up and see how it looks. Now, anyhow, Friday afternoon and uh, get a video out for you. Here you go. Hope you enjoy it all. Stick around and see what everything we did. Bye for now. Yeah, there and I'm ready to uh, close it in, I think. It's all... I'll get the light in here, so that's all welded in on the inside there, and that's as good as it gets. Maybe I'll hmm, clean that off the top and throw a bit of the paint in there before I close it, and then I'll uh, do it up. Yeah, now here, this piece of metal, I had it hanging around here since I did this fender here, I think. And don't you know, it sort of fits in perfectly back there on that, on that back quarter where I'm working on right now, I'll show you. Yeah, there it is, see this, that curve right there, I cut that long, long time ago to fit on the other side over there and it sort of just makes this curve right here where it's supposed to be. Now I'll weld it, I'll weld it up, tack weld it up here and then I'll do that cut and butt across the top. This side here is good. I'll cut and butt across the bottom here. Somewhere around here, I think. Well, who knows? Like, it's got to be... That's the way it's got to fit, so I'll make it fit. Anyway, there we go. Yeah, okay, now there, that's starting to take shape there. Now I've got it welded along here. Still have to cut it across here. And then get that side here fitted in. That'll be a little bit... A little bit of a challenge, but I'm pretty sure we'll get it in there. And then this bit here, got to get kind of out to meet it, eh? And then that'll be that. Yeah, there it is. Got that all in there now. I've grinded it some, but I haven't, uh, I don't want to grind it too much because I'm going to grind through the, the metal work on myself. Then I'll be screwed for sure. So I think I'll just put a bit of black paint on it and that'll be uh, good for that. Yeah, there you go. That's that inside fixed up. I gotta, I've got to go on the uh, other side there and paint from the inside out. But first I have to seal up the trunk bit. Yeah, now there's, everything's done in here now too. Huh. That's not bad. I'll run a bunch of a bit of sealer along there later, like uh, whatever you call it, silicone compound stuff. That's what it had originally in there. It's welded behind so that it's uh, solid back there, but you can't see it from this side. Anyway, I can carry on now on to the next the next project. Yeah, yeah. So here's next. Now there's where I just finished fixing up was over there, where all that cords around it, and then over here same place but not as badly uh, damaged so I just cut out that little bit there 
First I tried to just drill a couple of holes and uh, and put a plug in, but that failed. So I wonder where that piece is. See here's, yeah here it is. So I drilled a couple of holes like that where there was holes and then I put a plug in, but it was too weak at the back here that's to uh, be able to weld on it. So I'll cut a piece and uh, put it in there. It's got this kind of seam in here where the two body bits meet. And I'll see if I can replicate that, you know, pretty close. But I won't, I'll only use one piece of metal. I'll see what happens. Yeah, there's my new piece ready to cut into it. So now I'll just cut along this edge here, cut along that edge there and push it in. And then I'll do this edge down here and push it in. And uh, just butt weld it to, the, uh, to, it, to itself there. Now, how did I make that piece? It's actually kind of... A little bit of a complex piece, so I'll show you how I did it. Yeah, so here I got a piece of, like a piece of metal, right? Flat. And I wanted to have those complex, con those curves in there. So the first one was about this deep down, like that. The second one was about that far down, like that. And then the third one was down here, like this. Now how do I get them? I'll show you on the... Two of them are on the bender, and one of them's just in the vise. Hang on, I'll get them set up and we'll take a look and see. So here I was first... The first one is, like, here's the markings that I made out there, but the first one, you've got to bend it this way, so that it goes towards that direction, hang on, I... like that. So then you just bring it up and bend it about that much. That's all it needs. The second one, it's got to bend the other direction. So you want to put it in just like that there. And bend it about that much, that's a bit too much. So I can straighten that out again. So there, that's kind of the first curve there. And then this, the third curve is kind of a... How did that work? Wait for a look. It's got to be... pressed in from the bottom, coming, coming this way from the bottom, eh? So, I'll put this into the vise. I'm just getting the camera set up here. Somewhere about there, right? So then, I'll take the... Uh, see, reasonable size hammer in the cold chisel. And you get the dangle about like that. And just go across it. Time. And voila, you have the like the uh, the kind of shape that you want there with that little crease in there that looks like the piece is folded into it, eh? Anyway, works out pretty good if you're careful. I wasn't as careful with that piece as I was with the first one. So, but it does look looks about right in there because I was a little bit more careful with it. Yeah, there you go. That piece is in there now. So we'll just see how that... Uh, I'll grind it up and see how it looks after. There we go. That's in there now. Now I'll go underneath and I'll uh, clean up down below there and see what has to be done. Yeah, I guess you're not done until the pinholes are done. You can see a bunch of them along there, and along there, none along there. Hmm, wonder how come. So I'll fix those pinholes, and then I'll uh, grind it again, and that'll be that. Yeah, yeah, this hole in the spare tire holder is quite a bit bigger than what it started at. 
it looks like there's two pieces like it comes in from below and there's another overlapping piece on the top here that maybe I'll try and make it that way that might be the best way to make it anyhow so I'll give that a go anyhow that's uh, tomorrow because that's enough for today shut off everything here the hardest thing to shut off is this gas I don't know why they make these valves so tight, I guess so it doesn't explode on you. What the hell, eh? Now, what else is going on? That's about it for the day, right? We'll carry on and I'll see you tomorrow. Okay. Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> oh, yeah. There you are. So there's the hole that I cut out of it yesterday, right? And over here, here's, I was able to poke the the, the uh, what do you call that thing? A chisel through there. I was able to poke the chisel through a little hole right there and one down here too. This part here, that's the drain plug or whatever, and that's all fine around it, but the drain plug itself is rusted. So, amazing. So what I'll do is I'll just make a new drain plug there and uh, put it in. Anyhow, we'll carry on. First thing to do is I think I'll make that piece up over here and put that into place and then I'll start working on the rest of it. Yeah, now to make this piece here. Hmm. So, you can see at the end here it's one overlapping the other one. The bottom, this is the bottom of the trunk and it goes over the this part overlaps. So here's where whoop, here's where the fringe will be. This will be this bit here that has the flange on it, the hoopy stuff on it. Then the hole will go around here somewhere, but I'm not worried about that at this time. I'll figure that out as I go along. And it may never ever see a hole in there anyhow. That's the way it sits in the car. It's like uh, this is towards the top. That, and then so this would be the, the wall piece and that will be the floor piece here. Yeah, so here I am. I made this piece up and I decided I'd weld. So that would be the bottom of the trunk here. That would be the wall of the trunk there. So I decided I'd weld them. I just put a little tack weld in those spots to get it started. Because I wanted to make these hoopy things, one there, and another one there, to fit into that spot. So now I'll just weld this into the top. I'll show you where. I've got it fitted pretty good on this side. So I'll just weld it in up there and a couple of spots along. And then I'll push it up a bit and button cut it along this edge here somehow. I'll give it a try anyhow. See what happens. Yeah, there it is. It's in there now. A little bit warm still. And it all came along pretty good. Like it's the body line that comes down here is here and the body line that comes in here is here so that that looks all right now I'll fix up that hole there I think I'll just cut it out here and put a new piece in there then there's three or four underneath here this one along the edge here maybe I'll cut out that much of it and put in a new piece a little bit right there might only take, you know, just to put a plug in there. Or, ah, no, I'll cut it out and put a new piece in. Same right here. A couple of spots here where it needs new bits. Yeah, there's only a little tiny hole in there, hey? One, two, big one, four more holes. And that, which I've got to build a new piece for. Anyway, there you go. I've got the one hole done, hidden underneath all that junk over there. So I'll carry on and do the next one. Yeah, yeah, so now i got to have to, I have to make a piece. It's got a curve in it like that, right? Here it is. This is from what came out of it. Bit of a curve like that. So I've got a bit of a curve like that in here. This piece is a little bit bigger than that piece. And this piece here 
just kind of joins on about there somewhere. And so this piece has got to fit on that, right? And then it's got a hoopy thing. So it's got that hoopy thing there. And that hoopy thing should be along this line here. Now, and it's got to go, the hoopy thing's got to go up, I think. Let me go check in the car here. Because I always get these things backwards, so I like to do them twice. Hey? Yeah, so here, for this one here, this hoopy thing's got to go, like, up into the car. So, in the same direction as the bend, it's got to bend that way. So, I'll see if I can do that with the hoopy thing maker. Now, to get that curve into there, I used the English wheel to get it started. And I got a nice, like a nice crown on it that way with the English wheel. And then I used this dolly here. And I just, you know, put the... Uh, the metal on here and slowly slowly tapped it away and and got it to the bend that I close to what I want now see if I can get the I'll get that down and see if I can get that hoopy thing put into it yeah there it is so I got that little bit of a hoopy thing in there it's not a very big one on the bottom of that trunk there but just enough to make a an indent like that it'll sit and we'll sit like this in the trunk. Anyway, I'll see what I can do about fitting it now. Yeah, there you go. That'll slide up into there when I get ready to go. And uh, that'll be tomorrow, though. Piece number one will go in tomorrow sometime. Lights out for today. There now. Now I'll just gotta let the car down to a reasonable level. <laughs> I'm going to pull on these things here to let the car come down. Safety things. Good idea, hey? Mm. Anyway, there you go. That'll be it for today. And I'll uh, hopefully see you again tomorrow. Yeah, here we are. Cut and paste day. So I got this piece in. Grinded it down. And I got that little piece in there, this one here next. They actually go along pretty quick, and then that one there, I'll get last. I'll leave that for a while, I'll grind it, and then I'll go hunting for uh, pinholes after I get them all done. Yeah, there it is, it's all, there's a patch there, there's a patch there, there's a patch there, there's a patch over here, and there's a patch over here. All done. This one here, I'm still thinking about what to do about that. There's a hole right there, but that's I've got a rubber plug for that somewhere, I hope. And that'll be that. Yeah, now I've cut out this stuff. Where is that? One? Used to be in like here. This piece here used to be in like there. So I'll just make a new piece for there, and then make a new piece. Then I'll work on this bit here to get get that right. I don't know what it looks like on the other side. Yeah, it's same same problem. So I don't really have any guide to go by except for what the old stuff is. Yeah. So as usual, the right side of the car isn't as bad as the uh, left hand side. So this one here, that's just a bunch of like surface rust in there that doesn't hurt anything little bit of a hole right there but I, I'll fix that up as I go along later though I'll leave it for now this side here I'll get working on this and uh, see if I can make it right yeah there you go piece number one's in there all the way along here Right. Now they've got to build a piece that goes a little bit of a curve here and then, oops, where am I pointing? Wrong way. A bit of a curve. See this one here, it's got a bit of a curve to it to cover this stuff up. And all it does is a floorboard here now. I don't have to, I, I was in here, I cut these, uh, when I was cutting the floor out, I hit 
the frame a bit, so I re-welded that together, re-welded that together, re-welded that together. Now it's just a piece of this stuff here to go on the bottom. I'll get at that. Yeah, there you go. So I made a piece that would fit into here. Like that. <clears throat> it's got the flange at the end here. Whoops, where am I? So, it's got that kind of a flange on it all the way along. And then that at the end, so it'll meet up with this business in here. And then it's got the hoopy things in it, so it'll meet up with those hoopy things there. And it sits on the frame okay. So, I'll wait till tomorrow. That's the end of the day today, so I'll wait till tomorrow and I'll see if I can get that welded in, fitted properly. <clears throat> Anyhow, see you tomorrow. Yeah, now there that piece is in. Not a, quite a perfect fit back here, but not bad over that way. So now I just have to make a piece for in here and put that seam in there and that should finish that off, I hope. Yeah, now I made a little piece to go right in here and now it's just one piece left to put in right in there and it's got a flange going down. So we'll get that in next. Yeah, I don't know if you can see it, but there's a bit of a dip to it going like that way. And I've, I've got the dip in on this side okay, so I'll get it in on the other side too. I think that's something about where the jack stand goes. Or Yeah, there it is. That's uh, that piece stuck in. So that was it was rusted up around here, and then it was weak out here. So I figured I'd just put in a piece that big. I found another pinhole over here. I'll fix that before I finish up in here. Anyway, now next would be same thing on the other side. Hmm. Yeah, so here I have moved over to the uh, passenger side over here. Steering wheels on the left hand side in this car. And uh, I've cut out the bad bits there for most of them. And then I just put in this down here I put this lip in here that goes underneath and then I've got to make this piece kind of a complex piece like it's got a hmm, can you see this see how that curve tapers out to nothing at the end of it there and uh, then it goes and fills in this hole here so I'll see if I can do that and there's a right in the middle of it here where am I from here to here is like that flange going down, just like that. Oh well, give it a try. Yeah, so there it is. That's uh, it, yeah, that wasn't very easy to make, but it's made, and uh, so it goes a full flange there and tapers off to zero here. And then a flange along this side and then there's a curve in it that hoops down so there you go i don't have a metal stretcher so i couldn't do metal stretching in here i suppose i could have just with a cold chisel made it longer but i just cut those things in and i'll fill them in later with the with the welder so there now i'll get that fitted into place and uh see how it goes yeah, so now I've got that one piece in here with the flange going down, right? Now this piece here, there's an edge piece on it that goes out to here, like on the flange. The flange goes down and then underneath that piece that sits on top of it. And again, it's got like this distance at that end and zero distance at this end sort of thing to make that all fit in there. So I made a piece. It looks like looks like that there, that there, and that at the other end. And it sort of fits in there pretty good. And then I'll make the I'll get it in, weld it in, and then I'll make the uh, stuff all come to meet together there somehow or other. See what happens. Yeah, so now here's another way to make a curve in the middle if you don't want to make any cuts in it, which is really 
and if you don't have a stretcher, which I don't have, so you go and you oops, take five hands. You sort of got to get your metal on the anvil like that. And wait a minute, I'll get this camera set up so you can watch this. That's if I can ever shut it. There we go. Camera's up and running now. I'll get around here. So this is a, actually it's a rock hammer for geology, but works pretty good for this. You put, if you want that curve like that, and so the more that you stress the metal right here, it stretches it out and makes that curve. Put it on there. Hit it like that. And that makes the curve. Cool. Then to get it to Sit down straight because it also curved it this way on this bit here, right? But look, there's curve. How do you like that? Anyway, there you go. Lesson number 522. Another trick from Fitzy Fabrications. Well, there we are. That's here we are. This is so I drilled some holes in it and it's ready to go into about there, something like that. And then that'll be, then I have to just sort of fill this hole in up here. Oops, pointing the wrong way. This hole up here, I've got to fill that in later. But that's, that'll be good now. But I'll leave that for tomorrow because it's supper time now. And uh, time to go and cook some supper. So, I'll come back tomorrow, I hope. And I'll see you then. Yeah, there it is. It's in there and I put a coat of black paint on it. And I painted it underneath too. Oh, I just about tripped this. Anyhow, I got that seam in there and stuff like that. So it looks not bad. Now, next on the list. Hmm. Yeah, so here's the, uh, I'm on the front quarter here on the passenger side or the right hand side. And this little bit in here, I did a bunch of repair work in there where it's crumpled and weak. This is that had a whole pile of uh, body filler on here. And I took it out and I replaced a replaced a bunch of stuff. Well, I replaced it from here down, and then along here I replaced this. And right at this point here, I left the original work in there to have something to guide me. But I didn't get it back together just right. It doesn't look very good. Like I'll show you the other side. Other side, nice smooth line up through there all the way and that's that's the original fender or that's a replacement original fender off of a wrecked car and now on this one here i've replaced it from here down it was rusty in there so that's all done new and i replaced the i took it off and i replaced uh made a new inner fender for it anyhow not very happy with this so i think i'll just i'm gonna just cut that out of there and see if i can redo it to make it better. Yeah, so there's, I'm going to cut out along here and then we'll see what I can do about making it better. Yeah, so here's the chunk that I cut out of it. It's actually, the shape is close, but you can see from all the work on the back of it here that it's just a hot mess of, a hot mess of welding. And actually the welds look not bad. They're nice penetration and everything like that. But, you know, a plug right here where it burnt through and another plug here where I tried to make it right. Hmm. Okay. Well, I'll just get it going and try and make a good piece for it. Yeah, there. It's getting close to the shape I want. It's got a, like a curve on here that sits in there. And then a curve on that that goes across the bumper this way. Or it goes across the fender that way. So I need to get it... To be proper up in this end right here. So I'm gonna, and now I've been, the way I've been doing it, is very slowly stick it in. 
I've got this piece of round tubing or aluminum or fence rail is what it is or a guard or a rail but you just I'll tighten that up a bit stick the uh, thing in there so that it's coming around the rail and then pull on it a bit and that gives it a bit of a curve now this one here a little bit more difficult once you got a curve going one way to get it to go the other way That helped it a bit there, but this one, the curve isn't great on it. So I'm going to get one of these dollies down and do a little bit of pounding on it. See if I can make that happen. Anyhow. Yeah, I think I've got it close enough to start putting it into the car. It sort of fits like that. And then this edge here will fit right down on there. And then it makes its way around that curve there. And this edge here will sort of fit. So, between uh, a little bit of work, once I start welding it in there, I might be able to get it to come in and look fairly bad, fairly good. Likely way better than that last piece that was in there anyhow. At least it's kind of flat across there. I'll give it a try. Yeah, there we go. I did a, took a, about three hours to get that, but the curves look nicer and I'll be able to smooth it all out with uh, later with a little bit of body putty so I'm happier with that that's a way way better than what was there before so there's like you can see that the way the crown goes on there and it should be it's about the same as what happens over here this one's a little bit better well that's factory so it's way better but that one here is pretty good for me I'm happy with that it's way better it used to look like a hot hell in there and now it's a nice smooth piece so yay that's I'll call that a win anyhow Friday afternoon here we are another day in the shop another week in the shop so I hope you enjoyed it all it's uh, quite a bit of work here this week still uh, no rear end in it but we did fix up in around in there and fixed up these uh, holes that used to be. These used to be just holes right here and right here. And they're all in. So looking good. Coming along. Anyway, there we are. Hope you uh, enjoyed it all. And I think I can find another chunk of video from a day long thing. Throw at the end here. See you now.